This is module three, lesson four, homework on the second side. Number two, count by six to fill in the blanks below. You can use the front of your paper to help you remember how to count by six. I'm going to count six, 12, 18, 24, 30. Complete the multiplication equation that represents the final number in your count by. I am counting by six. I counted by six, one, two, three, four, five times. So my count by is representing six times five. My total for six times five is 30. Complete the division equation that represents your count by. When I'm dividing, I start with my total. So I have 30 divided by six equals five. Number three. Count by six to fill in the blanks below. Again, you can look at the other side of your paper to help you count by six. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Complete the multiplication equation that represents the final number in your count by. I counted by six, one, two, three, four, five, six times. My final number is 36. So I have six times six equals 36. Complete the division equation that represents your count by. My total was 36 divided by 6 equals 6. Number 4. Count by 6 to solve 48 divided by 6. Show your work. So I have 48 divided by 6 equals a number I'm not sure of yet. I can rewrite this problem so it's similar to what we did on numbers two and three. I'm counting by six. I'm not sure how many times yet to give me a total of 48. Now I'm going to skip count by six. I'm going to do a count by six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. That gives me a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times that I counted by 6. So, n equals 8.